we were growing up, adults would always say, kids say the darndest things. Well, in the spirit of this quote, our creative team decided to take a different approach to telling the story of Easter and hear it from the perspective of children. And here is what they had to say. After Jesus dies on the cross, Joseph asks Pontius Pilate if he can take the body and like give it the spices so it's ready to be put into the tomb. The spices would keep everybody away from it. It was so stinky and then they would just run away. It's kind of like a cave and then they just put a boulder in them. It's a circle. It's a big circle. The stone moves over all by itself. After those three days, Mary comes with more spices just to check to make sure the body's like not like smelly or anything. It'll keep from getting you like all stinky. Yeah. That, that was, was Mary. Mary. Jinx. <gasps> Mary Magdalene! She goes near the tomb and she says it's like already been opened up and that like Jesus isn't in there. Everyone's freaking out because they're like, where is he? Where is he? She hears a voice outside. The voice says, why are you crying? And, and Mary Magdalene says, because they took him. Jesus is like right near, there, but Mary doesn't really know it's Jesus. She thought Jesus was a gardener. And he asks her, why are you crying? Jesus says, Mary. He was, he was the gardener. shining bright. Like light, bright, very like, bright. Like, like light. The sun. And then she realizes, wait, it's Jesus. Jesus says to Mary, go find my brothers and tell them the good news. They lock the door. They don't want to get hurt like Jesus did. They would nail them. <laughs> well, even with the locked doors, Jesus like appears. He just like appears out of nowhere. How are you there, Jesus? Hi, Jesus. I'm glad you're here. So Thomas didn't know that that was Jesus. Thomas said, I won't believe that Jesus is alive until I see the holes in his hands. He showed those holes. Those will be haughty, 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 haughty boo-boos. Jesus showed him his scar on his leg. No, his wrist. It would feel ouchy. I bet it actually felt like a Chinese finger trap when you put it through. He realized that that was Jesus. And then Jesus pops into the room and he's like, Thomas, here are my hands. Thomas is pretty much just like, I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. I believe in you now. He said, you should have known better. I would say that he kind of just like, like zooms up. He's just like, oh, like that. They were impressed about how he was flying. I think it was like. <sighs> I would say it's about creating new life, like creating new life from death. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you for making us happy Easter. When I was a boy growing up just outside Washington, D.C., my parents brought me and my brother to the White House a couple times for the Easter egg roll. And the president and his wife would come out and greet us, and then we would roll eggs down the White House lawn. Uh, I don't think I really knew exactly what all that meant. It was just fun to be part of it. But now I know that just as from an egg, unless you hard boil it or scramble it, a little life of a chicken will, will appear. Huh? Uh, I know also that at Easter, we celebrate Jesus' great victory over sin and death. He truly rose bodily from the dead to a new kind of life. He was born in the sense in a new way. Uh, it, truly him, but uh, now transfigured, transformed, never again to, to get tired or to suffer or to die. And because Jesus is not selfish, he has promised to share that new life he now enjoys with us. He starts doing that from the moment of our baptism in this life through the grace of the sacraments. And then when he returns in glory at the end of time, 
he will raise up our mortal bodies and make them immortal like his own. We will be transformed too, and then in great joy enter uh, heaven together with him. And so I, I encourage you to celebrate this feast of Easter uh, with great joy and with real confidence that the Lord Jesus risen and reigning in heaven is with you to help you all the days of your lives. God bless you all.